Hello everyone, I have this ASP.NET MVC app and we are going to learn how we can limit access to users at various levels. So what I'm going to do is first show you how this app looks like. So I'm going to go to debug, start without debugging. And this opens up this page, which I know most of the people are familiar with. It has got home, about, uh, contacts and the regular stuff. Let's say I only want registered users to be able to get to my contact page. I don't want uh, anonymous users to get in touch with me. Let's say for some hypothetical scenario. So I'm going to minimize this and so I'm going to go to my home controller which I am already at and in the contact action result I'm just going to type in the authorized keyword. And that's it. I'm going to save and start without debugging. And so now if I click on the contacts link, it should send me to the login page because it's expecting a registered user to log in. All right, that seems to be working fine. Now, if I have many action results, I want to limit the anonymous access let's say I've, I've got uh, hundreds of action results it wouldn't be nice for me to you know go to each and every one of them and you know add this authorized keyword how about configuring this authorization globally on this side so how do we do that let me delete this from here and I'm gonna go straight to my app start filter config and we have got this register global filters and we have got one filter in here that's just handling the error. So I'm going to add another one. Filters dot add new authorized authorized attribute. That's it. And if I click on save and now if I go to debug start without debugging it should put that authorization across the website all right look at that now we have that authorization keyword applied globally on this site now the problem is we can't even get to the home site or the home page because what it has done is this authorization attribute has put that authorize on the home page and everywhere but I don't want to use but I don't want to limit access to this home controller so I want users to be able to at least go to the index about and contact actually the entire controller so what I can do is go to the top and just say allow anonymous so what this will do is this controller would be accessible to anonymous users but everything else all the other controllers if i had let's say you know five or ten or however many they all would require authentication to get in so with that attribute added to the class level let's go back start without debugging and we should be able to see our home page again all right, our home page is back. Uh, everything else is back. Everything else should be working fine. As clearly outlined in here, the magic can be applied with this one line added to the filter config in the app start folder. Thanks for watching. And just before you go, if this video has helped you in any way, shape or form, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.